Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. So, I'd like to invite you to a general reading at the end of the day. And it is open to all zodiac signs, so just take what resonates with you. It is timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching the video, there might be a message for you here. Okay, so... Let's try to see what is our main energy at the end of the day. Okay, we have here the Five of Swords. Okay, you are defending yourself from certain things. Okay, when you look at the picture here of the Five of Swords, you were scaring away some wolves. Okay, maybe some people with bad intention are, uh, you know, trying to gather around you but you were able to scare them away and somehow because of the psychological advantage that you had you were able to prevent conflicts okay so try to see how it resonates with you you were able to be wise enough to avoid conflict and somehow it is because of your self-confidence and somehow you yeah you were able to convince these people that uh conflict will not be beneficial for every party concerned okay now let's try to see what happened in the recent past well you are the star maybe that's the reason why these people or these wolves gathered around you sorry for the sorry for the description no no bad intention for the wolves the wolves have been my spirit guides for quite some time uh, but somehow it shows also people who are well with some predatory some predatory uh, tendencies so uh, be careful okay but somehow you are able to scare them away for now you are the star so somehow maybe that's the reason you are a, you are right now very mature you have balanced your inner and your inner and your outer life you, your outer life is flourishing you are nurturing it so that's why it is you're blooming right now at the same time you are also able to take good care of your inner life so you are glowing you are guided also by the divine here I feel it's like the halo of your eighth chakra when you are like that you are very much in touch with your inner world so in a certain sense you are also highly guided by the universe so things are going well you have attained a certain balance and not only that the universe has given you a gift we have here the page of pentacles so somebody who has just received a new gift something that is new so you are like a page you are learning something new and this something new that you have you are starting to learn is a gift from the universe and it promises something good now there will be challenges along the way because maybe some people would like to get this gift that you might have you try to see if it resonates with you at this time now what else had happened in the recent past well because you received a new gift maybe you are balancing things like for example balancing between work and studying this new inspiration but you seem to be receiving support from the universe you see here a dog bringing food to you while you are keeping busy so it seems that as you are busy learning something new and busy also trying to maintain uh, your responsibilities the universe makes sure that you are provided for in whatever you need but it's a quite a balancing act right now so you are facing a lot of challenges and i think you are very efficient because yes you are able to yeah win despite of some people trying to challenge you at this time now what is happening in your present moment well yes you are the king of wands you are on fire and you seem to be very intuitive and very much in touch with nature you seem to be relaxed despite of the challenges or the things that you are balancing at this time maybe that confidence and that fieriness in in you somehow discourage other people to you know create conflicts with you now a chapter is closing right now a painful one 
Try to see if how it resonates with you. A chapter is, has closed right now and it seems that uh, maybe this is the ones that the wolves are attracted to you. For some of you, maybe this is the one that attracts that is attracted to you. Maybe you are at this time closing a this chapter that you are closing. It could be a position in your career. And some people want to take the position that you are leaving behind. Okay, it can be like that, or it can be that uh, they sus they somehow feel already that a certain chapter in your life is closing, and some people would like to see what they can benefit from it. Okay, so try to see if it resonates with you. But whatever it is, whoever this these people who might want to take advantage of this chapter that is closing right now, you are able to defend yourself well. And again, you see here the fire. You are really on fire. A chapter that closes means a new chapter is opening. So new possibilities in your life. So it's something beautiful. And I think it is related to this gift you just received from the universe and this gift that you are trying to learn right now. Uh, so somehow this is what we can see now what can we expect in the near future well we have here the sun the sun is something that uh, it is whatever it is that you receive you will enjoy it in the near future you will be basking in the sun and you will be very creative the children can symbolize creativity it can also symbolize true children <laughs> for some of you you might have children in the near future but at this present time this can also symbolize uh, this can also symbolize creativity you will be very productive and you will the the universe will support you greatly which can be symbolized by the sun you're a sunflower so you are constantly aware of the presence of the divine and whatever challenges you will encounter the wheel of fortune will continue to turn now you might have to process some dark or that some shadows in your life, maybe some bad habits or some relationships that are no longer helpful, in the near future you might have to address these things. So, yeah, it's part of your transformation. But the sun can bring light to this darkness. These are the things that you need to work on. Maybe for some of you, you will have to let them go in the near future. Now, you will attain wholeness. For some of you who are happily single, this symbolizes wholeness, uh, maturity, spiritual growth, a balance between your opposites, the masculine and the feminine, rainbow color. For me, it symbolizes healthy auras. And when the aura, auric fields are healthy, it means that your chakras are also healthy. So for me, it's really a beautiful uh, spiritual growth heart for me is increasing compassion and also an increasing loving relationship with the divine for some of you you might meet somebody in the near future somebody who can be your soulmate or can be somebody who is capable of giving you unconditional love this person will reciprocate your unconditional the unconditional love that you are also capable of giving this person can somehow mirror you and somehow this person whatever growth that you are undergoing right now i feel that this person will be undergoing the same growth so somehow you will be joining together holding hands uh, somehow being together will be uh, a synergistic journey so whole, you, somehow when you find this person if for some of you who will meet this person this can be a romantic partner, this can be a friend or a member of the family. When you are with this person, your spiritual growth will be faster. So for some of you, it can be that somebody will be coming your way. It can be somebody who will be sort of like your classmate in your spiritual journey, or it can be even a mentor. Okay, Or you can be a mentor also to this person, or both of you to each other can be. But things are going well. So somehow this can be uh, a symbolism of your wholeness or a symbolism of somebody 
who will journey with you and will help you attain wholeness faster. This one is just processing of some things you will need to maybe let go or improve on. Now let's try to end with an oracle card from the cosmic reading cards. Let's see what can we expect. Okay, we have here Mother Earth. Okay, so somehow this one is very important for you right now. Being grounded with nature, being in touch with Mother Earth. Something about grounding, when you are grounded, yes, you get in touch with your uh, shadow part. So in a certain sense, yeah, you might be yeah, really processing your, maybe also this can be your wounded past. Uh, there will be, a, you will undergo healing. Now, right now, the important thing is remaining grounded, especially when you are being challenged by other people. Just remain grounded, especially also when a chapter closes. Somehow being grounded will help you, especially also when you are trying to balance things. Being grounded will be a great help for you. Now, there's something about being in touch with Mother Earth. So spend more time with nature. Okay, now we have here, ask for help. I think asking for help, we'll be asking for help from the universe and also asking for help from people who understand you and support you. So don't hesitate to ask for help. It says here, I am willing to receive help from the universe whenever and however it happens. So get in touch with Mother Nature, get in touch with the universe. Don't hesitate to ask for their assistance especially when as this challenge seems to be coming your way and especially as you undergo this transition towards a new chapter and as you process also those things that need to grow in you so this is what we have for you at this time I hope that somehow you, this will help you deepen your relationship with Mother Earth and also uh, somehow will guide you in your present journey. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I look forward to seeing you again in our next videos. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.